Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss another type of controller which makes use of the neural network concept. And the name of this controller is Narma L2 controller or a feedback linearization controller. So this controller is comparatively faster to other controllers because in this the controller is simply a rearrangement of the neural network plant model which is trained offline in a batch form. So the time consuming aspect of the other controllers that is online computation is taken away from this type and we will see how the controller is created in the latter part of this video. So this also involves two steps. The first is the plant identification which is similar to the last case for the model predictive controller and the second we design the controller. So one standard model that has been used to represent a general discrete time nonlinear system is a nonlinear autoregressive moving average model. The equation of which is shown on the screen. Here UK is the system input, YK is the system output and N is any non-linear function. So as in the model predictive controller, we will create a neural network to represent the non-linear relationship between the input and the output. Now in the second step, we need to design a controller. So if we want our output to follow a certain reference, let's say y k plus d will be a y r k plus d where y r represents the reference signal. So we need to design a controller so that it gives a value of u where u is the control signal and it is dependent upon the previous value of the output y r is the our reference signal and u is the control input and g is any nonlinear function. Now if we want to train a neural network to create a function g that will minimize the mean square error then we will need to use a dynamic backpropagation which is very time consuming. So to overcome that problem what we can do is to approximate the NARMA model that we have discussed before and the approximate equation is shown on the screen. So as you can see in the equation uk is not contained inside the non-linearity. The advantage of this form is that you can solve for the control input that causes a system output to follow any reference. So this equation can be rewritten as shown in the screen. So from this equation we can find the value of the control input at any time t. Now if we use this equation directly then we need to determine the value of uk based on the output at the same time that is yk. So instead we will replace the value of uk with uk plus 1 and this equation will be valid for any value d greater than equal to 2. The figure on the screen shows the NARMA L2 approximate model. So in the top side we have the neural network approximation of the g nonlinearity and at the bottom we have the neural network approximation of the f nonlinearity and it is predicting the output y at any time t plus 2 when we have subtracted with the value of y at time t plus 1 and the control input at the same time t plus 1. So this is what our final model will look like. We have a reference model or the reference signal. Then we make use of the plant for training a neural network and we will use that same neural network for designing the controller by just rearrangement of the equations. So you can see this is what our controller will look like and this is same as of the equation shown on the bottom of the screen. So as you can see this is just the rearrangement of the neural network plant model that we have already trained. So coming back to the MATLAB, type in NARMA maglev and this will open up the simulant model that makes use of the NARMA L2 controller. So as you can see it involves two blocks, first will be the controller block and the second is the plant block. So let's first look which plant we are using. So this is the figure of the plant which we are using. This is the model for calculating the levitation of the magnet by passing a current through a block which is at the bottom of the magnet. So in this we will be controlling the height or the levitation of the magnet by varying the value of the current at any time t. So it will be the control parameter and yt is what we are controlling. This is the equation by which this system is governed. Here yt is the distance of the magnet above the electromagnet, i at any time t is the current flowing in the electromagnet, m is the mass of the magnet, g is the gravitation constant, the parameter beta is the viscous friction coefficient that is determined by the material in which the magnet moves and alpha is the field strength constant. So double click on plant. So you can see this is the simulant model of the equation of the plant that we have discussed. 
right click on the narma l2 controller and click on open in new tab so as you can see this is similar to the figure as shown on the bottom of the screen now double click on the controller and in this case we just need to train the neural network model of the plant so as you may recall in the model predictive controller we also had a different window for the optimization block but in this case as the controller is just simply the rearrangement of the neural network plant model so we have only one window let's keep the value at default and click generate training data so as in the case of model predictive controller in this case also the plant input and output will be generated as an input and target data set so we will wait for this simulation to complete after the data is generated click on accept data and then click on train network the network will be trained by the specified training function in this case as specified train lm and the number of box will be 100 after the training is complete the window will look like this so these are the same graphs that are generated as in the case of a model predictive controller so once you are satisfied with the data click on ok or apply and the data or the trained neural network plant model will be imported into the simulink model now click on run the model will be simulated so in the xy graph red line is our reference line and the blue line is the output of our plant model so as you can see the blue line is trying to follow the pattern of our red line so in this case we imported a magnet levitation plant model into the simulink you can also import the cstr model that we have discussed in model predictive controller and for the same model compare the results of both the controller so that's it everyone this is it for this video hope you like it and please like subscribe and share and thanks for watching